great minds, Bill. Uh, I, was, uh, I, I will state what you have said in my words. Uh, the one value that I think we have to make sure we, codif we, we, we don't codify, but make sure that it's made permanent uh, of the Internet is the always beta, the permanent beta value. The fact that it's being built, it's being experimented with, it's uh, changing, uh, it's changing in unexpected ways, and we have to make sure that the ex uh, ability to experiment, what we have already mentioned in other sessions uh, in this IGF, permissionless innovation, uh, can really go far. We just have uh, uh, a few things that we don't want to happen, which is uh, uh, the breakdown or fragmentation of the internet, uh, the creation of closed spaces, uh, that kind of stuff is really important and we know that that has been achieved by an extreme adherence to interoperability and openness. Uh, I'll put further two points. One of them is uh, even if we all in this room agreed uh, explicitly, I mean you took uh, account of uh, hands uh, up, uh, we, do we all agree that openness of the internet is a value to be preserved? Last evening we had a session on the dynamic coalition on core values. It was very much the same issues that are discussed here. And uh, I was truly amazed by the passion and vigor uh, with which two totally opposite uh, conclusions taken from openness were discussed. One of them was, as has been the atmosphere here, uh, be able to publish everything, make it uh, accessible to anyone on the, on the net. The other view was in order to feel safe, was a, was a young man, uh, technically and uh, internetically literate, uh, putting forward the idea that in order to be safe in uh, producing and putting on, uh, content online, he would like everybody to have an ID and to check in uh, with, with the hard authentication uh, by coming into the net, and he really meant that this was an interpretation and a way to preserve the openness of the net. Uh, we, most of all, uh, of the people I talk to on the internet, uh, think that it's not a solution, think actually it has much more problems and so forth. The only point I want to make is there are young people who have thought this through and who passionately believe completely opposite things. So the value that we have to preserve will not be one specific value that gets codified, but the value that these values are permanently under discussion. That's one point. The other thing is that the values of the internet, such as openness, uh, easy of, ease of access, etc., are not only uh, uh, being codified like in, uh, in, 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 in the Brazil set of 10 values, but also are being affected in many different ways. And people, young people and particularly young people, have shown themselves uh, ready and even eager to fight for them. Uh, one specific reference I'll make is the Internet Necesario campaign uh, in Mexico last year, which I was lucky to be part of. Uh, we had this campaign led mostly online, no, mostly by Internet tools, basically uh, Twitter and a few blogs, uh, plus a very limited presence uh, in the Mexican legislature, but there was no demonstrations on the streets or anything like that. In fact, Many of the activists in this campaign, who were very young people, uh, are against uh, massive demonstrations and street closures, and they only joined this campaign because they, it was possible to do so completely online. Uh, we have to keep looking at these uh, core values across generations view. What gets young people fired about the internet? How ca what gets them to actually you know, go out of uh, everyday routines and, and uh, go further out uh, into action.